Hi everyone, we are going to have a look into your reading, see what's coming through, what messages, information and clarity I can give to you. So I've got the cards ready to go, this is for all star signs, so if you're here I feel like it is a sign in itself and we will take a look and see exactly what is coming through. Just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, intention items, anything like that, it's always linked down below. And there's personal services like tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, there's also the healing work prayers and the intention items which are on my website which are handmade, meditated with and saged for various areas of your life. So that's all there. Review sections at the bottom of my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com and you can check everything out on there as well. Alright, so let's begin with your reading and see what is coming through. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. So there's attraction, engagement, and wedding. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, of course, we go from engagement to wedding. That's a very good sign because that shows progress. This situation involves marriage, the situation you're in. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And that's very important. That's the law of attraction. The law of attraction is really about enjoying this moment, not constantly needing, wanting, uh, being desperate for things in the future. Of course, it's totally fine to want love in the future, to want marriage in the future, to want commitment in the future, and to make sure that, you know, that's something you would, you know, get from the situation. But, you know, forcing it, making it, you know, um, happen to the point where it really hurts you, obviously isn't allowing you to embrace the moment that is, right? Because that hurts you. So it's really about just enjoying your moments for yourself, taking care of yourself, giving the other person as much as they give you, and just embracing what you've got in your life right now. Because what's really important here is that that energy actually attracts more abundant energies, and it allows more to come into your life and for things to really fulfill. So I think what is absolutely stunning is that there is just such a beautiful energy of love and happiness and when you enjoy this moment you actually attract the energy for your highest good in regards to love and what you actually want for your future and what you want you know like lifelong basically so that's really really important otherwise you know things can delay when you are extremely attached to a circumstance a situation or a scenario so we've got the Nine of Cups, which is what you want, the Queen of Swords, you know what you want, and we've got here the Hermit, which is right now you feel that things are very slow and it frustrates you, it aggravates you, it stresses you out, and for some of you it really depresses you as well. And I feel here that love is going to come to you, okay? The love of your life, it's happening, it's going to happen, but you have to enjoy this moment fully. And right now you may be alone, you may feel frustrated, you may not be in the kind of situation that you want to be in. Your love life may not be as perfect as you anticipate or expect it to be. However, you have to embrace this moment for yourself, try and do something for yourself that makes you feel good. Let me know, okay? After you watch this reading, do something for yourself, watch your favorite TV show, um, you know, have a lovely meal, read a book, um, listen to a podcast, um, meditate, burn some sage, make something, draw something, <laughs> play a game, you know, and, and nowadays you can even play games, you know, on your phone, or you don't need so many people in order to play games, you know, uh, when I was younger, if you wanted to play a game, you needed, you know, an, another person to play like an actual board game with you, because those were the kind of games um, that were there, you know, nowadays you can go on an app and, or, you know, even the internet and literally play a game, you can even find people online to play um, virtual games with, um, where you don't, you know, you don't have to like meet them and talk to them, but you just, you, you know, there's someone else kind of playing on their side, um, you know, Connect Four and things like that. It, so it's, it's really about just doing things that give you joy, give you happiness, doing things that make you feel good, going for a walk, you know, it's, it's simple things as well. Putting your energy to those things can really help you to embrace what is current. We've got the Page of Swords here as well. 
okay and that actually spiritually attracts the other person to you as well because when you are desperate and needy that energy isn't very attractive to the other person they feel kind of suffocated by it they don't like it they don't feel great about it it overwhelms them you know and things like that but when you are really just putting yourself first and you're taking care of yourself that energy really really attracts them and makes them feel you know happier to do more towards you to feel more connected to you and it makes them think a lot more about you as well so we've got the queen of wands which is yeah again just you know doing things that make you feel good pampering yourself yep so your affirmation for this reading is i will enjoy this moment fully that allows you to attract romantic love i know it sounds really simple but life isn't rocket science it isn't um i mean it can be okay it can be with certain circumstances difficulties and pain suffering trauma that you or others endure but the the principle of the law of attraction is very simple which is knowing what you want but living in today's moment fully and then you attract what you want by doing what you are doing currently by living your life taking care of yourself and putting yourself first law of attraction is not sitting there every single day and needing something that's not how it works you have to actually let go of it so that the universe can take your order and can fulfill your order if you always hold on to your order the universe is never going to get it at that rate you know like until you fully just let it go so that's another really important thing but ace of pentacles shows a true love okay coming your way when you don't really need it so the more satisfied and the more whole you are within yourself the more this love comes your way not to fill your void not that you know, a lot of you don't have a void okay that you're like using someone to fill but you know you feel lonely and you are desperate you know that's that's the kind of vibe i get here but it's going to come when you don't really need it that's the that's just how it is and then we've got the two of pentacles here okay so we've got the eight of cups we've got the emperor we've got the hierophant we've got the five of pentacles queen of pentacles five of pentacles ten of swords okay so as you can see here there's love that's going to come but with unexpected changes now these unexpected changes means that a lot of the pain and the suffering that you've been facing you will actually in the future not have to deal with that to such a degree again because you will have healed yourself you will be not needing and be desperate for things in your life you will be embracing your current moments fully which just allow things in your future to become even better so it brings even more changes where your finances can be so much better you can have more flexibility and freedom in terms of your money um, life you can also have better um, scenarios in regards to people around you you can have a nicer home you can feel less lonely because you feel wholesome within yourself and then because you feel more wholesome within yourself as well the other person you know just matches your energy and they aren't using you to cover their own void you know what I mean so when you rise everything rises when you appreciate this moment fully everything around you just rises tenfold and I also feel with the eight of cups as well is that there's such a beautiful beautiful energy here of you going away doing some retreating taking care of yourself embracing this current moment and boom you know there's this beautiful energy here of someone then actually wanting to take action towards you because you've taken action towards yourself it's so true it's that mirroring energy give yourself what you actually want right so if you want love you've got to love yourself to the point where you feel so whole within yourself that you don't need another taking care of yourself to the point where you know you don't need somebody else to take care of you although i can understand you know in certain circumstances some people need someone to take care of them you know i totally understand that but this is in a um kind of like um a healthy way for yourself in terms of independence and um not like needing someone else when i'm not talking about a physical disability here you know i'm talking about um like a, a codependency basically kind of energy where you you may need to just, you know, 
I think you understand what I'm talking about because, you know, then there is that whole aspect of like, yeah, you know, Moonlight, but this person, they can't take care of themselves, so I have to help them. Of course, of course, that's not what I'm talking about, not talking about that, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm talking more so about like when you can help yourself and when you can take care of yourself, but then you sometimes you know, want someone else to also be there for you, I can totally understand. It's totally normal to want, a you know, a connection. It's totally normal to want love and a companion, but a lot of excessive desperation can slow it down. But the good news here is the love of your life is going to come, and it comes when you are so, like, wholesome within yourself that you don't necessarily need the other person. Does that make sense? You just get to a point where you are so happy within yourself, you're so fulfilled within yourself, you are so just good within yourself, and then boom, you know, the whole situation works out for you where they also come towards you and progress towards you and things just feel so much better for you. And I think that's just so much healthier and it will make you feel so much better as well. So that's basically what I'm seeing there. So yeah, I really hope this helped you and gave you lots of clarity. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And take care, everyone.